So let's take a look at how dynamic routing might handle a situation where we have a link failure. So in dynamic routing, we're going to choose the best path for our packet. And that best path is determined by something called the metric. Now I'm going to talk about the metric in a few slides. So let's just talk about how dynamic routing will do this very conceptually. So if I were to send my packet now from the 10.0.8.0 network up to 10.0.10.0, my packet's going to take the shortest path, whichever that happens to be. In this particular case, it's over that 172.16.10.4 slash 30 link. All right, if that link goes down, what can happen then is the dynamic routing process can communicate with the other routers, say the link between router 2 and router 1 is down, is there an alternate path? If so, let's build the routing table to accommodate it, and then start to send the traffic across the network in the proper way. Now, modern routing protocols can do this in less than a half of a second, even shorter than that. So a half of a second is 500 milliseconds. So in less than 500 milliseconds, we call this sub-second convergence, we can actually reset up our entire routing table structure in our environment so that our packets continue to move to their hosts as quickly as possible. This way we don't run into that situation where we lose packets at router 3 like we saw when we had a static route set up. So dynamic routing lets us do a couple things. One, it's going to automatically build our routing tables for us, assuming you as the network administrator know how to properly configure the routing protocol. A routing protocol is not some automated tool. It's not a setup wizard. It's not like Clippy from uh, Microsoft Word. You know, remember Clippy? If you remember Clippy in Microsoft Word, he'd pop up and say, it looks like you're trying to build a routing table. Do you want some help? You know, of course, it wouldn't say the routing table, but Cisco routers and routing and networking in general depend on the network administrator really knowing what's going on in order to make that routing table work properly and in order to make the dynamic routing protocols configure properly. The illustration here, though, is that dynamic routing protocols can do something called convergence and reconvergence very quickly. And by convergence, I mean that they are exchanging all of the routes for all of the routers within their environment so that all the devices know how to reach all the networks. Should a network fail, it can use that information to rebuild the routing table without administrator intervention.